Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about the characteristics of relations. First, I will give a brief idea about what is a relation, then I will explain the characteristics of relation. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. So let me begin the explanation of characteristics of relation. So in simple words, in DBMS, a relation can be called as a table. So relation can be called as a table. So you can see there the table will have a name that can be a, called as a relation name. So each relation will have a name. Here in this example, my relation is a student relation. That means the student table contains uh, different data of a particular student. You can see there this table contains the details of uh, five students, right? Here the row, the rows of the table can be called as tuples or records. Here uh, this table contains five records of a different student. And the columns can be called as attributes. These attributes is going to, right? Uh, uh, they are attributes are nothing but they are going to describe the relation. Attributes is going to describe the uh, relation that is uh, here name, SSN, uh, home phone, address. So, this attributes is going to uh, right, describe your student, right? Hope you are understanding, guys, right? So, uh, relation in simple words is nothing but a you are going to organize your data in the form of table, that is, in the form of rows and columns. So this is a relation and each relation will have a name. So relation will be in the form of table and each relation will be uh, have, will be having a name and each uh, table contains the records or tuples. Each relation will contain the records or tuples and each uh, relation will be having the attributes. Columns are nothing but attributes. Right? Now I will explain the characteristics of relation. So, the first characteristic in a relation is ordering of tuples in a relation. So, you know that a relation is defined as a set of tuples. You can see there, here, uh, my relation student contains a set of tuples, right? Uh, here, uh, the five students data is there here. So, this first characteristics, what it tells means, mathematically, uh, there is no order among the tuples, right? There is no order among the tuples in the relation. For example, here, uh, Benjamin Bayer is the first student, right? Barbara Benson is the last student, right? So, I can include Barbara Benson as the first. I can change the position of Barbara Benson to first. Again, I can change the Benjamin Bayer to the last, right? No ordering is important here, right? Any record can be in any position. No ordering is important here. Right? Hope you are understanding guys. In the same way, Dick Davidson can be uh, in the first position or Rohan Panchal can be in the first position. So, any record can be in any position. There is no ordering between the records. Uh, there is no ordering between the tuples. So, this is the first characteristic of a relation. No need to maintain the order between your records or a tuples. Hope you are understanding guys. Suppose if you have any doubts, please post your doubts in the comment section. Right. Next. Similarly, when tuples are represented on a storage device, they must be organized in some fashion, right? Right. So, for example, uh, yes, ordering is not important. But when you are storing, uh, if you store your data in, uh, right, in some fashion, for example, in ascending order or uh, in alphabetical order, Right, ordering is not important, but if you store the data in any, right, for example, in alphabetical order, it will help you when you, right, when you want to fetch the data or when you want to organize your data. Getting guys, for example, here, uh, you can see there, uh, the name, right, name can be, 
right organized in a alphabetical order if you want you can do that right it's not a rule that uh, you have to do like that but if you do that it will be helpful for you so the first characteristic no ordering is important here your every tuple can be in any order right right guys next what is the second characteristics ordering of values within a tuple ordering of values within a tuples so that is the order of attributes and their value is not that important right uh, attribute and their values is ordering of the attributes and their values is not that important as long as the correspondence between the attributes and values is maintained correspondence means what uh, for the particular attribute the value should be matched properly don't get confused here for example see here so ssn ssn is attribute what is the value ssn 3 uh, ssn is attribute value is 30561 so this is the value of the attribute ssn for the first student in the same way ssn can be 38162 for the second student so what i am trying to say is right the ordering for this values is also not important if uh, if you know the attribute name you can easily find out the value of a particular record hope you are understanding if i know ssn and if i know value 30561 i can easily identify that this value belongs to the first student benjamin bayer as long as you know the attribute and the value that is as long as you know the attribute and value pairs ssn and particular value in the same way ssn 38162145 ssn 42211230 ssn 489221100 like that if you know the attribute and also if you know the value you can easily find out that a particular value belongs to which student so so far what i am trying to say is uh, here also ordering is not important right here also ordering is not important as long as you know the attribute name and also the value right hope you are understanding guys right so as you can see there a tuple can be considered as a set of attribute and value right for every attribute there will be a value right see for ssn also there will be five values for name also there will be five values like that for every attribute there will be a value so how you can find out a particular value for each record in the say uh, right attribute value pairs i already explained right so that's why the ordering of your attributes is not important the attribute uh, because the attribute name appears with its value you can see here the attribute name ssn is uh, is going to uh, right appear with the values in the same way home phone is also appear with the values so thereby ordering is not that important as long as you know the attribute name and the values you can easily find out uh, right the record right uh, where it uh, where the particular value belongs right hope you are understanding guys next characteristics values and nulls in the tuples so what is a null value first of all so see here each value in a tuple is a atomic value that is it is not divisible into components so you can see here i can't divide ssn into further i can't divide one form into further hope you are understanding so dictabits and i can't divide that name so whatever the values that are present in this table in this relation are atomic that is the values are not divisible they, they are not divisible hope you are understanding right the values can't be divisible right each value is a atomic value hope you are understanding so so far if any value is null what do when the null value be, uh, right uh, comes into play here for example uh, see here uh, the name of a first row you can see their first record benjamin bayer their office phone is null right office phone is null for Ch chung chak kim the again the office phone is null why 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 these two particular uh, fields are null for these two students means because they don't have the office phone so they don't have the office phone how to represent that empty value here how i am going to represent that empty value means we using a null 
null value null value signifies the empty value by seeing the null value i can understand that uh, the no no data is there for that particular attribute no value will be there for that particular attribute because this benjamin bayer and chung cha kim they don't have the uh, office phone that's why it is null right guys hope you are understanding so an important concept is null values which are used to represent the values of attributes that may be unknown if you don't know the value of the attribute right if a value doesn't apply to a tuple you can use a null value right guys and one more important thing null values have several meanings such as value unknown value exists but it's not available or attribute does not apply to this tuple for example sometimes value unknown it can be null sometime value exist but it is not available you can ask a question how value exist but it is not available see here for example uh, uh, here uh, i can uh, job in this table if i include a job job attribute see for student uh, some student can do part time job right for that particular student the entries will be there for the job attribute for the students who don't do the uh, part time job then the value for that uh, right attribute job will be null so uh, hope you understood here so right uh, right sometimes right the attribute will be there it applies but right but it is not a value is there value exists but it is not available value exists but it's not available hope you understood getting guys next sorry last characteristic interpretation of a relation so what it is what it is actually so each tuple in the relation right can be interpreted as a fact or a particular instance of the assertion don't get confused here that means each relation can be viewed as a predicate right and each tuple in the relation can be viewed as a assertion for which that predicate is satisfied for example don't get confused here uh, each tuple in a simple words each tuple represents a fact what is that here for example if you see one particular record here you are going to for example take the first row here if you see that first row you can understand the fact that there exists a student by the name benjamin bayer with a ssn 30561234 with a home phone 8173731616 and address is with office phone number and his age is 19 and his gpa is so hope you are understanding if you this particular record is telling the fact that the student benjamin mayer with the following information exists so in the simple words relation means relation can be interpreted as a fact relation contains a fact what you are understanding for example i already told you there exists a student having a name benjamin mayer having ssn having age 19 etc so each record tells something about particular entity it is a fact hope you are understanding so guys suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video